Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this in Design Space. We are gonna create this cake topper and it's so stinking cute that I'm actually recreating it. So uh, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, I appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so a couple things about this cake topper. Um, I originally was just gonna do a reel, but it was so stinking cute. I did it for Junie and Junie now has the cake topper. And so I needed to re make it so that I have it in my craft room <laughs> and so that's why I'm going to show you how to do it now I definitely you know sometimes I I think this is a good lesson in making this cake topper and just buying the SVG files okay so I definitely bought a few things in design space um, and I bought the image from the salty Yankee so let's get that out of the way I can show you where that all that is Okay, so, oops, let's go over here. Okay, so first off, the font is called Shine. It's so cute. It's all the little details, right? It's the little cutouts in each of the letters. Um, it's the little extra, you know, tails that you get. I just, this font is so stinking cute and I love it in all lowercase. This is the file from the Salty Yankee. So cute. Um, all right, and then let's get started. So in design space, a couple of things about this file. You can see it's so simple, right? It's just the outline of the, you know, the mouse uh, face, right? The ears. And then we've got Minnie's bow, the name, the age, and then just the image. This image is print then cut. We did a lot of layers. So you can see the bows. I don't know if you could tell from the, from the screen, but the the image itself mini is a couple times we've got an offset everything has an offset in um, just so that it pops out a little bit so it's a simple simple cake topper but a lot of details a lot of layers but easy um, you'll see that when we put this together i am going live on tuesday so that's september 26 at 6 30 p.m pacific I am uh, using StreamYard, so it'll be on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook. If you don't catch it live, not a problem. It will be on the replay, so just like this that you're watching now. So um, I just there's I just love this cake topper. I love that this gray area is basically acetate. It's a double layer of acetate with the shaker items in the middle. Um, I'm doing a couple different things with this one. Um, you don't see a lot of the double acetate layers and I I love it. I mean, you can kind of see through and you see the balloons in the background. Um, you've got a lot of the confetti and the sprinkles in here, but it just feels, it's just so pretty. Um, if you notice, there are sprinkles and confettis in, in the ear section because right here, I did it with clear hot glue because otherwise all your sprinkles are gonna fall to the bottom right here and I didn't want that. So it's partially why I also used um, uh, like the little glitter pieces because they're static and it kind of sticks to certain areas. So not everything falls straight down because you can see this cake topper is standing straight up and yet there's stuff all over. The other thing that I used is the acetate paper um, it has stars printed on it so it's got gold so there's a gold theme running through the whole thing and it just feels um, very light and simple but not boring I don't know if that's <laughs> that was what I was going for so all right let's do the name first I'm redoing this I found somebody who wants this file or this uh, cake topper so we're gonna make it for Kate uh, so Kate, let's go to the text. So I have it, you know, it's shine and I'm going to show you the trick to do this. So I'm going to do all lowercase. I'm going to keep it at this um, size. Okay. So here's Kate. I'm going to go to main type. So if you don't have main type, just Google it, download it. There's a free version. I do have the paid version. I gotta tell you, I haven't noticed any difference between the paid and the free version. I had used the free version for about four years. I just recently paid for it just to see if there's a difference. And I, 
I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> to be honest. All right, so you, what happens is you um, find your font. So here I'm in Shine Regular, right? So I know this is the one that I'm in. Scroll over here and you can see all the different options available. So I'm gonna scroll down. Here is my K, my lowercase K, and it's got the little extra swirl, right? So it's highlighted, I'm gonna hit Control C. Go back into Design Space and click a text box. And you're just going to control V paste into this. But you need to make sure that the font of this text box matches the font that you're dropping in. So yes, it's shine. I'm just going to grab this whole thing and then control V and there's my K. And see this K looks so much cuter than this K, right? I'm going to do the same thing for the E. So I'm going to go back to main type and find my E with the tail going the other way, right? At the end. So here is my E, highlighted, control C, go back to design space, same thing. I'm gonna go to text box and hit control V. Okay, so now I've got my, um, my ends. I'm gonna grab this and ungroup it and just basically get rid of the K. So we will resize everything after we've um, gotten all our letters. And the reason why I resize at the end is because they come in at the same size, so that way I'm not resizing multiple times. So now that they're all together, I can resize it, or we can look at this like this. So let me make it bigger so that we can actually see the name. And then I'm gonna make this bigger so that we can really check. So, um, you know, if you like the way this looks, which I think it looks good, I might drop the E just a little bit lower. That still looks good. What I don't want is something like this, where it's kind of connected, but the K looks like it was added on and it doesn't look like it flows. So I wanna make sure that the, the ends kind of all are tucked in. So, okay, I like the way that looks. I'm gonna grab the whole thing, combine and weld, because I want it to flow and be one thing. Okay, so let me make this a little bit smaller. I want it here just so that we have a visual and we have our thing over here. All right, what you'll notice is we've just got a ton of layers, right? The bows um, are layered on top of the whole mini. Everything's got an offset. So in June, I did this in a pale pink. So I did two pinks. I did a hot pink, actually I did three pinks, a hot pink for the outline and then a light pink and a middle pink for the number. So we're gonna use three shades from the new Encore line by 12 by 12. And let me pull that out and see what colors I want to use so that you guys have it as well. So I am going to use, I definitely want to use, oh, I see my colors right away. I'm gonna use this hot pink. So I'm using hot pink rose topaz and then I'm gonna go with the pale light pink. And I'm gonna do, okay, I think I got my colors. Okay. I'm gonna do rosy cheeks, hot pink, and rose topaz. These are the three colors that I'm doing that will match what you see there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. I'm using gold, um, the linen gold from 12 by 12 cardstock shop, and then just any white. The white is barely there. The white is there just to break up the colors, um, provide that offset, but really it just blends in. So I wouldn't worry about the white. And then the acetate paper, I will make sure that it's detailed out um, in the description. All right, okay, so let's get going. So we've got Kate here, we know it's layered two offsets. So the first color is our light pink. So I'm gonna do light pink. Oops, here's our light pink. Then let's do an offset. All of the offsets on here are super, super thin. So let's try and see what 0.05 looks like. And that's kind of where I wanna be. So that black is going to be white and then we've got 
another offset. And that one is going to be gold. And I'm gonna do a few layers of that. Okay, so when you think about Kate, Kate is pink, white, gold, gold, gold. It's got five layers and that's why it's so pretty in person, okay? So I'm just going to, um, we'll move these two over, okay? And just keep that over there. All right, um, the next thing is we're going to use the, we're gonna bring in Minnie Mouse. So Minnie Mouse is right here. We're gonna add to canvas. This is from the Salty Yankee. And make this smaller. And if you notice, I wanted I just wanted Minnie on this side, on the left-hand side, but her hand would go like this. So all you need to do, and she's about the, oh my gosh, I brought her in and she's about the right size, okay? Um, you're just gonna grab her and flip. Flip horizontal, and there's the, the arm, okay? So she's good there. She is a print and cut, but before we do the print and cut, what I wanna do is, we're going to, let me just, I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, yeah. Just so we have one less thing to look at, okay? So I've got this, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna group these together. I'm gonna group the name together so that it moves together as one. Okay, and then we've got Minnie up here. So Minnie, I did her bow by itself. Do you see that? So what I want to do is I want to go to Minnie and let's grab her bow. Okay, so what we want to do is, how should I do this? I forgot how I did it. <laughs> let's go find her bow. So her bow is all these pieces right here okay so this is her bow no that's her dress hold on where's her bow this is her bow is this her bow yeah so these are all the whites for her bow for her bow and this is her bow hit the shift key and grab her bow no that's her what is that now that's her shoe. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Let's do this instead. Let's duplicate this because I'm having a hard time figuring out what's what, right? So let's ungroup this one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab basically all of this. There we go. We're gonna remove things out of the way and we're just gonna delete it. We want this bow. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this and do a really thin offset. I'm gonna do it maybe just 0.02 even, okay? Just so that, oops, it's really not wanting to do that. Okay, we're gonna apply. So it gave me that offset so that it's all one piece, but I'm gonna change, uh, that offset is black, so that's fine. I'm gonna grab all of this now and I'm gonna flatten so it's gonna be one piece um, hold on let me make it bigger my offsets not there you see how it didn't do that all right so let's undo that for a second so my offset is there right let's look at this oh it doesn't have an offset so weird how it does that sometimes and then it doesn't. Okay, so let's grab this whole thing and let's do this offset again. Let's see if it will do that. Okay, it's not applying the offset right now. <laughs> it's still thinking. 
Let me see if that will work. Okay, so the offset's not working right now, but what you wanna do is you don't want this to cut out the white pieces and the pink. You want it to cut out as one bow, because if you look at this, you can kind of see right there that this bow, um, I cut it a couple times and layered it on top. So this is not looking good for our tutorial. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to offset it and then flatten it so it cuts as one big bow. We'll come back to it and see if it'll work then. But we've got all our pieces, so that's fine. So we've got this, we've got mini. We're going to leave that aside. We're going to go into images and we're going to do Mickey Mouse ears and I'm gonna to go to purchase and see because I bought it okay so I bought this and I also bought the bow okay so we're gonna to add to canvas now the bow is this center one because this bow is kind of tilted to the side and I wanted the bow for the cake to be more centered so um, this bow of course we changed this to match the pale pink of the name. I think that's the same, okay? And then we've got the white, and then instead of the black, I did it in the gold. And then you can have a couple of the gold. I don't wanna layer all the white and the pink. I'd rather layer the gold because that's easier, less pieces, and I can just stack it on the back and I'll pop out a little bit. So I'm going to do maybe just, oops, not the whole thing. Let me delete that. Let's grab just this layer and do two. Okay, we'll move it to the side down here. Okay, we're gonna grab these two, the bow, and make sure it's grouped. Oh, it is grouped together, right? Okay, now it's grouped together. Okay, so we've got the bow, now we've got the mouse ears. Okay, so let's move this out of the way for a second so that we've got some space. What I wanna do with this is the blue layer is my acetate layer. Um, so let's ungroup this for a second and see what we have, right? So the blue is actually not the full black. So if I was to use this for my acetate layer, I'd have to be perfect. So what I would rather do is this. So let's grab these two. Hold on. Grab these two and align it back together. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the two and we're gonna slice. And when we slice, this is what's gonna give us that nice offset. So this is gonna go on top, right? Um, and I'm gonna duplicate this and contour. And you see how this makes it easier because then now this whole acetate piece is gonna match up to the outside. So I'm gonna change this to gray. That's my acetate layer, and I want two layers of that, right? Okay, so I've got that. Then I've got, I'm gonna stick this on top, right? And then I have another layer where I'm gonna do an offset. So if you look back at this, I've got my white, oh, I've got my pink and my white. And so let's see, so this, Let's get an offset of this, a really thin one. Let's see if it will work this time. Okay, it does work, great. So we're gonna apply. Okay, so this offset, I'm gonna arrange and send it to the back, okay? And I'm gonna change that to, let's look at this, white. Okay, so my offset, oops, not that. Let's go back to this. My offset is white. No, I've got the opposite. That's actually going to be pink, right? It's gonna be hot pink. So. And I'm just gonna to go to advance and change it to like a hot pink there. So that's hot pink. This is gonna be white. So it's gonna look like this, right? 
And then this is going to be all the way in the back. So let me put these This layer is going to be in the back. And let's basically, let's just move our layers up. Um, so now I can get rid of these. I don't need these two. And, okay. All right, so let's grab this and arrange or actually align and we're just going to center it it's just so that visually it, we've we know what's going on and now we're going to group this okay so we've got our background we've got our bow arrange send to the front and now we just want to size everything do we like the way everything looks if you remember i was seeing how I closed off the ears so that my confetti would stay in there. So I want my bow to kind of come down and cover a little bit maybe or not. It's clear. It's going to be the hot glue gun. So um, you couldn't see it at all when I did it. So here is Minnie. Minnie's arranged spring to the front. So Minnie's going to be over here like that. And then we've got Kate. Bring to the front like this. And then we've got the number four. So we've got to go in and do four. Now the four is also layered. It's a different pink, gold, and white. So again, offset, apply. So let's look at this first. That offset is going to be gold. And then one more offset. That is going to be pink. And then we've got one more offset. So from this offset, we're gonna grab that and do an offset, and that's gonna be white. Okay. So we've got all our pieces. That's it, right? Okay, so if you, let's look at this size. Let's see how big this, okay, I think this is a great size. It's gonna be so good and the only thing we need to do is in this white layer, let's do the, let's do the four, where are, let's do, okay. We could do the four one time, the gold one time, and I think we're good and we're ready to cut it and do all of this. Oh no, wait, we're not done, we're not done. We've got Minnie, hold on. We've got to flatten Minnie and we've got to do this bow, right? Oops, hold on. Oh, the black is there. All right, so let's pull this aside. Let's look at this. So here's the black, the offset is there. Let's turn that into gold. Oh no, did I keep it black? I did keep it black because that's just on here. Okay, never mind. All right, so this one, we're going, yep, it's grabbed all these pieces. We're going to flatten. But why does it not, that is so weird. Let's undo that because it's clearly not, okay, I'm going to do another offset just so that I have it. Let's see if it'll do it. See, that's too thick, right? See, the offset is here. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna do an offset of that and make it really small. Okay, there, that's on there, right? I'm gonna grab that and now I'm gonna flatten it there. Okay, so this is gonna go on top like this. So I'm gonna do a couple layers of this, okay? 
just so that it sits on top. I'm going to grab this one and we're going to do an offset. And I'm going to do a bigger offset. Maybe I'm going to go back to the 0.05. Okay, and that's going to be in gold. Then I'm going to grab Minnie and I'm going to flatten her. So she's flat now. We're going to do a couple of her. <sighs> okay, and we can always choose not to use it. This one is crazy funky. We're going to go to contour and just hide everything. And there's our solid. And we're going to do maybe two of those. We've got our cake topper. Oh my gosh, it's going to look amazing. It's going to look exactly like this, okay? So I am going to... See you in the assembly portion. Let us know if you have any questions.